It doesn't do a whole lot for morale. As firefighters in Winnipeg respond to blazes and medical calls across the city, some on the job are dealing with issues at their own fire halls. Reports of rodents and mold. And officials with the firefighters union say those are signs of a bigger problem. We have um, a number of issues that, that have been neglected over the years. The issues with rodents are outlined in service requests submitted to the city by those working at these stations from July of 2020 to February of this year. And in one instance, staff identified the problems as, quote, serious health concerns. That's in one of two reports from Station 14 on St. Mary's Road over a period of just four months when staff members complained about seeing mice in the station's kitchen. The reports also said the kitchen had become a, quote, breeding ground for mold and bacterial growth. Union officials say these types of issues take a toll. To the rank and file, it says to the people that, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, you've been neglected and your stations have been ne neglected. Station 14 isn't alone. The standalone paramedic station on Osborne Street and Station 30 saw requests for service around pests two times in roughly two months. Staff detailing how they've had mice droppings on desk space and have also seen mice on all three floors of the station. Tom Billis, president-elect of the United Firefighters of Winnipeg, says the pest problems are just the peak in a pile of issues. Look, our fire halls are our second homes. We live there, we eat there, uh, we take care of the place, and, and, you know, we wouldn't accept that in our own house. If we had uh, mice or whatnot, we will deal with it. You, you, from top to bottom, right, you're not going to have your children eating uh, stuff that is, has been contaminated by mice and so on. So, I mean, that's all our, mem our crews want, is, is a safe place to eat and sleep and not have to worry about getting sick from that. Even the Winnipeg Fire and Paramedic Services headquarters has not been spared from the presence of mice, as their staff have reported mice droppings in the building's kitchen, including in utensil drawers and where people are expected to prepare meals. Billis says it's the belief of the UFFW that there needs to be a renewed priority on firefighting infrastructure in the city, saying it's not where it should be on Winnipeg's priority list. I don't think it's high enough, uh, and, and that's been the case for decades, frankly. Uh, we are always pounding the table that things could be better. Uh, they could be more diligent dealing dealing with that, and, and it's coming to a head right now. The city of Winnipeg is preparing to revamp its firefighting and paramedic response. A master plan analysis is currently underway to identify how many fire stations in the city need to be replaced or remodeled. Both stations number 14 and station number 30 are identified as needing replacements. City News reached out to the city of Winnipeg to find out what's being done to address the presence of rodents and find out if these specific instances have been dealt with, but a response was not received by deputy. Headline. As for Billis, he says while the reports of rodents and mold in fire halls are concerning, he says there's more at stake when it comes to under-resourcing the city's fire and paramedic service. The real health and safety we worry about is response times. When you're going into new neighborhoods like Waverly West with new construction, new construction materials, those houses burn hotter and faster and the response times are longer. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.